we have this equation here where one minus one and a quarter, uh, that whole thing times n uh, equals one. And we're trying to figure out what is the value of n. If you didn't read 1.25 as one and a quarter, uh, one of the ways to figure that out is to write, instead of 1.25, 125 over 100. So what I did there is I took the three digits, uh, one, it was 1 1.25, so 1, 2, 5 goes in the numerator, and in the denominator, I'm going to have 1 followed by a number of zeros that matches the number of spaces to the right of the decimal point. So in this case, 1.25. Two five, so two two spaces there to the right of the decimal point. That's how many zeros I'll have following the one in the denominator. It's ten to the power of two because there are two spaces to the right of the decimal point. So one hundred and twenty-five over a hundred. That's the same thing as one point two five. And if you reduce the fraction one hundred and twenty-five over a hundred, you'll get five fourths or one and a quarter. So one minus one and a quarter would get us negative a quarter. So we've got negative one quarter n equals one. We want to find the value of n, so it might be a good idea to multiply both sides of this equation by negative four, and then we'll get n equals negative four. And that's the answer. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.